All right, we right back at. It. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but for real, for real, we just shot our King Push review, and we about to get into this Drake Duppy freestyle. <laughs> what the fuck kind of name is Duppy? Of course, everybody that heard Infrared knows that uh, Pusha T took some 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 serious so jabs. Shots at, uh, Drake. Some serious jabs at Drake. Should we play the the, the distance? No, nah, no need. We can talk about him. I mean, you know. The first like thing Nas, he said was it was written like Nas, but it, it was said it written was like Nas, but you it said came like from Quentin. Quentin. Yeah, crazy. Talk, the Quentin Miller shot, and it then it was written like the, Nas, uh, but it came from Quentin, and then he said, "I can, you can never write these wrongs. You don't even write your own songs." Right. So clearly coming for Drake, and I knew Drake would respond to a nigga like Push because this nigga Drake. This is less than twenty four hours. Yeah, less than twenty four hours. He already. I'm interested to see what you're gonna do. I've never heard of Lil Duppy. I've never heard of Duppy anything. I just think that's a weird ass word, but hey, this is what he chose. <laughs> this is what he decided to go with. Well, watch this is some other if random. We, let me tell you something. If we get, if we get, um, I'm saying this. If is we not, get diplomatic immunity, Drake, it's over for push. I'ma just say it like that because Drake has too much. This is the thing. Drake has never lost when he done it when he did that, and, and he has too much of a wave, bro. Well, let's just, we never even say we're gonna listen. I was just about to say, if this is some random nigga named Lil Phil, no bullshit. Lil Phil on the track. If this ain't the song that y'all know, we stay getting Rick Roll. This ain't her, this ain't this. Two glocks, two chambers, yeah. Born a hard like chambers. Chambers? They're gonna be like, wow, these niggas let it happen again. Because Terrence, bro. This nigga's literally on. Well, I'm on. He's on sound eight, body eight. says only on sound radio. Nigga, anybody Duffy can, freestyle. I can upload this video right now and call it over your sound. Duffy freestyle. Your dumb ass is gonna click and give me a view. Hold on, let's see if this is it. This can't be it because forty would probably be the track that Drake was on. So. Okay, I don't know where Dang, the song is. It's not it, bro. Let's just all of you niggas that will take something hot and put it on there so we can hear your fucking song. October. That's just very the young. most whack nigga shit to do ever. You niggas are but, lame as fuck. But some of you niggas have heat. <laughs> Another nigga. <laughs> I'm in shock. The nerve, the audacity. Say that this nigga, this nigga Drake has too much swag, bro. Swag is a lame word, but honestly, when you think about Drake, we're prepared for him to eat fucking Pusha T alive. We're prepared for him to shred him up, and he hasn't even rapped yet. Oh, you, I mean, we're not lying. Nah, you just dick riding early. Let this nigga get his shit off. Yeah. So if you rebuke me for working with someone else on a couple of V's, what do you really think of that nigga that's making your beats? I done things for him I thought that he never would need. Father had to stretch his hands out and get it from me. I pop style for 30 hours and let him repeat. Hey, he already on it, bro. What did you hear that was crazy? He said, Father had to stretch his hands out. Do what you got to understand. Just let him start rapping again. He's talking about yay. Keep in mind. Oh, he's talking about yay. He's talking about yay. I'm thinking about push. No, he's talking about couple of V. Oh, you play him right there. You rebuke me for working with someone else on a couple of V's. What do you really think of the nigga that's making your beats? Pause. What do you really think of the nigga that's making your beats? Kanye. Pause. Kanye. Now we talking about, okay, what do you really think about yay? I done things for him I thought that he never would need. Father had to stretch his hands out and get it from me. I oh my God, bro. Father had to stretch his hands out and get it from me. Father stretched my hands. Yay. Mm -hmm. Yay. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. This okay. nigga Drake coming. I, and I knew if we were told you we was gonna get if we was gonna get diplomatic community, Drake. And he said something about doesn't Kanye have a song called 30 Hours? Or was that yeah. Drake? 30 hours. Because he Kanye. said something about he said 30 hours something. But with me, father had to stretch his hands out and get it from me. I pop style for 30 hours and let him repeat. I pop style for 30, 30 hours and let him repeat. Let him repeat. 
Now you popping up with the jokes, I'm never gonna sleep. I just left from over by y'all for the pit of the sheets. Tired of sitting quiet and helping my enemies eat. Don't know why the fuck you niggas listen to Denim and Steve. My son, this nigga is gonna low key body this <laughs> thing. Like the shit is I'm trying to hear him like upset in that joke. I'm telling you. Don't push me when I'm in album mode. You're not even top five as far as your label talent goes. You send shots when I got a challenge though. <laughs> but I bring calicos to the Alamo. I can never be not even top five as far as your as far as your fucking your you label talent goes. You're not, like, you're not even top five. You're as not far even as top your five on your label. Yeah, I'm top five, nigga. No, you're not. You're good, but let's not get disrespectful, you bitch. <laughs> Don't put that in there, cause then this nigga push is gonna come after me. <laughs> I can never have a virtual in my circle and hold him back cause he makes me nervous. I wanna see my brothers flourish to their higher purpose. You need Damn. That's deep, bro. He that's, that's deep, deep, bro. And that's some real shit about your boy. Why is he coming there? Yay! Because they to me. <laughs> Yay ain't even get on there and say nothing crazy. Still, bro, I would never have a nigga named Virgil in my circle and hold him back because he makes me nervous. I want to see my brothers flourish. Hey, talking that uh -huh. shit to you niggas. <laughs> it's leeches and serpents. I think it's good that now the teachers are learning. Yeah, your brother said it was your cousin and him and you. These leeches and serpents. You niggas leeches and serpents. You niggas leeches and serpents. I think it's good that now the teachers is learning. Like, I'm teaching you niggas now. And you niggas supposed to be the pioneers. So you don't rap what you did. You just rap what you knew. Don't be ashamed. There's plenty niggas that do what you do. There's no malice in your heart. You an approachable dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> that is uh, ridiculous, bro. I know what I know what you're talking about. Okay, because I feel like young niggas are not going to get it. He said, "It ain't no malice in your heart. You are you an approachable dude." Like, okay, this thing. There's, there's no malice in your heart. You're an approachable dude. Like, you don't have no ill will. Yeah, you're no a really approachable guy. I can mm -hmm. come walk up to you, but there's no malice. If anybody doesn't know, when it comes to the clips, push it was tea. push a T and malice. Think about the path malice went down. He chose God, like he saved himself. That, so it's like there's no malice in your heart, like there's none of your brother in you. Like yeah. there's no malice in your heart, like there's no ill will, but there's also no malice meaning your brother, but no but there's no malice meaning like the way the, the right. path that, that nigga chose triple entendre. Is a, yeah, the path that nigga chose ain't in you. That's crazy, bro. I just sold a college kids for Nike and Mercedes, but you act like you sold drugs for Escobar in the 80s. I had a microphone of yours, but then the signature faded. I think that pretty much resembles what's been happening lately. Please oh believe my your demise. I had a microphone in yours. I had a microphone in yours, but then the signature faded. I think that resembles what's been happening lately, even though I kind of fucked it up. Basically, like, niggas have been, you, your mic has been fading. Like, yeah. And then nobody listening to you. Nobody's real. fucking with Push It For Real. I'm interested to see what. Old niggas are gonna think about this. But then let the nigga finish. I can't wait for that next Joe Button podcast. I know, bro. <laughs> I really shouldn't have given you none of my time. Cause you older than the nigga you running behind. Yeah. Uh, I mean, when you want. This nigga older than Kanye. <laughs> the nigga Pusha T is older than Kanye. Pusha T is older than Kanye. You older than the nigga you running behind. It's not by that much, it's like one or two years, but it's still like. Oh my goodness, bro. Siri, how old is Pusha T? Forty-one. How old is Kanye West? Kanye West is forty. Yep. Damn, it was one year, one bro. Year. But hey, you older than the nigga. I mean, one and behind. This is it's facts. Go back a little bit and just let the nigga rap. Holla at me when you multi-million. I told you keep playing with my name and I'ma let it ring on you like Virginia Williams. I'm too resilient. Get out your feelings. It's gonna be a cool summer for you. I told Weezy and yeah, baby I'm a dunno for you. Tell Ye we got an invoice coming to you. That nigga said I told Weezy and yeah, baby I'm a dunno for you. Pusha T's fiance name is Virginia Williams. And I, you know what, bro? I, I was thinking like, hold on, wait, because he not talking about the actress Virginia Williams. Somebody named Virginia Williams. So he said. I told you keep my name out, out my out your mouth or I'ma make it rain or I'ma let it rain on you like Virginia Williams. Mm -hmm. That's crazy, because for niggas, think about it. I didn't catch that, but when I heard it, I was like, you know what? This means some shit, and I gotta figure it out. This nigga Pusha T fiance name is Virginia Williams. That's actually low as fuck. That's actually pretty deep, bro. 
You don't bring niggas wives and you just talk, you just said his girl name. It's gonna be a cool summer for you. I told Weezy and yeah, baby, I'm a dunner for you. Tell Ye we got an invoice coming to you. Consider it and we just sold another 20 for you. God damn. God damn, bro. Do you realize that? Do you know, you know what that means? means, right? That means we all gonna go back and see what Pusha said. Just off of the strength of me even saying anything about this, you're going to do another 20 million. That's why you said, tell you we got an invoice coming to you. Consider we, consider consider we, we just, just did another, another 20 for you. I know like that I told Weezy and Baby, I'm going to dun them for you. Like, fuck yeah, that he came, at, he came at Wayne and Baby. Yeah. yeah. Another multi, another multi problem rapper that can't, that can't retire. You, that's what he said. Uh -huh. My thing is this. Pusha, I'm not going to lie. What was the reason for Pusha's, this drink? Pusha's, Pusha came at Wayne, and honestly, you don't fuck with that nigga. No, that shit was fire. Pusha's line was still fire, because he said, you know, another another multi-millionaire, another multi-platinum nigga, an another multi-platinum multi rapper that can't retire. That can't retire, you know. You saw the cracks in something, and I took the crack and built the wire. That shit was fire. That shit was fire. Believe it or not. But my thing is, I don't see where he needed to diss Drake. I don't know. Is it I mean, for relevancy? Did we miss some shit that Drake posted? I know this probably might be... It, it has been an on one beat because you remember Drake dropped that track when he was dissing Pusha. So I guess this is Pusha finally responding. I need to go back and listen to that shit. I need to go back and listen to that shit too. Comment your thoughts on it, on everything that you... That, uh, how you feel about it. Uh, if you know a little bit of history about the beef, I guess put that down there so, so everybody is informed. Yeah. Uh, the shit just seemed like it spiraled up out of nowhere. I think it's been something that's been cooking for a while, but it just came out of nowhere. And I'll be honest, bro. You don't want to fuck with you that nigga Drake, but you know what? It's the thing, like, it is the thing, bro. Every time Drake juices somebody, I just want this nigga Kendrick to just be like, Drake, come at me, bro. Because that's the rap beef we need. It is, bro. Kendrick is like, I will fuck you up, my nigga. <laughs> like, this is Kendrick Lamar. That's the one. That's the one nigga he does not want Drake to smoke with. Drake keep getting into it with old niggas. He, he got into it with Joey. With all of these rappers. Then he went with Meek. And Meek's Meek not, old, not an old nigga. Meek wasn't old, but... And then, now Push, and it's like, okay. But you, as you can see, he really don't be doing shit. He's sitting in the cut. But that's why he was like, I'm shocked. But nigga, you can't be shocked when you put out that shit on two birds, one stone. Yeah. Like, like I mean, you can't, but it's, it's just been like, fuck you. Then, and then at the end, because, he was, I think he shocked that he was so bold. And it was like, all right, well, now I shouldn't even give you none of my time. You know, but he did. And this is the thing about Drake, and this is something that you got to just... Nah, when a nigga diss you, that's what I, I... Let me say this. I respect Drake so much for responding, bro. The niggas that don't say anything, like, I can see if it was a lawyer or Trump or somebody that says something about you and you don't want to respond because fuck them... But when another nigga that does the same thing you do, diss you, you have to respond. If I play basketball and another nigga like that nigga jump all that nigga jump a crazy when he when I check him, I'ma come on the next press and be like, that nigga can't guard me, I will put up 30 on that nigga next game. <laughs> like fuck that. I'm not about to let you say something about me, nigga. We in the same sport. Like yeah. this nigga Drake won't let nobody say nothing about him. Like you say something about me, I'm coming at you in that. And I might just snap it off. Hey, if you fuck with the video, if this is your first time seeing us, because I know this video is going to go a, different, a lot of different places because of the subject matter. If this is your first time seeing us, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, bro. You made it all the way through the video. Why not fucking subscribe? Hey, and then see the rest of the videos, because why the fuck would exactly. I subscribe? I don't know if I would subscribe to your duck ass, boy. <laughs> subscribe to me. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you get notifications every time we upload. Poll going to be right there. Say whether you fuck with the track. Matter of fact, it should be 100% to zero, but it's going to be... We're going to get some dislikes. It's going to be some, some dislikes. dislikes. It's going to be some people that are in of opposition. Put in the comments if you didn't fuck with it. Or is you this, let me ask you this. Is this going to go up before the... No. This is going to go, go up after. Probably around the same time. Okay. So, I mean, hey. Uh, but yeah, until next time, I will see y'all on Friday. Or probably before that. So, like, comment, share, subscribe. Wow. Subscribe. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Oh, nah.